So the problem is you have gotten a new phone and you do not have your hands on your old phone anymore for one reason or the other. And now you need to get back into Google Authenticator. And if you don't have your old phone, it can be a little tricky. But I'm going to walk you through the entire process of getting back your Authenticator on your new phone. But to do this, you will need your PC that you're logged into your Gmail account. So now if we go into Google Authenticator on this new phone, you'll see that it's almost like you're starting afresh. Um, it just goes on to tell you all the things that you can do with Google Authenticator. And if we click on Get started you have the options to scan a qr code to enter a setup key and import existing accounts and so all of this is assuming that you have access to your old phone and we don't have access to our old phone so on my pc what i'm going to do is on my gmail account that i want to link to my um, google authenticator i'm going to click on the call the settings icon and click on see all settings i am going to go under accounts and import and then i'm going to click on other account settings it will open up our google account dashboard we want to go to security scroll down until you find two-step verification click on it and it will require you to enter in your password to just verify that this is actually you trying to make all of these changes so i'm going to enter my password it's already saved in actually so i'm going to click on next and now i have the two-step verification page showing up and you can see that um, my new phone has already automatically been um, spotted by Google as you can see here it's the Infinix 0x so the next thing we're going to do is click on the authenticator app option here and now we have the option to change authenticator app so I'm going to click on that and you can see now that we have a QR code that we can scan so I'm going to go back into my um, authenticator app and then I'll click on scan a QR code and I'm just going to scan that and now it's asking me to click to review my pin and now I have that pin revealed so I am going to click on next so what's going to happen now is I'm seeing this pin on my phone and it wants to make sure that I have access to this and it's actually me doing it so I'm going to enter in that pin authenticator app has changed so now you can start to add in other apps like Instagram onto your Google Authenticator. On Instagram, go to settings and then you are going to select security and then you're going to select two-factor authentication and click on get started and you can toggle on the authentication app um, which is recommended click on next and you are going to select authenticator and select if you want to use it just once or always a code will be sent to your google authenticator app and once you enter it into instagram your instagram will now be added and can be verified with your google authenticator app and that is it i hope that you found this video helpful thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and i will see you in the next one take care